What is going on, Shrimp Cubes? This is Rob with FlipAquatics.com, and today I have an experiment for you guys. So we have all of this Brightwell substrate that is from all of our tanks that we just changed it out of. Um, this stuff, we, we like to change it out once every two years uh, just to make sure we don't lose our buffering capacity. And this we use for all of our caridina shrimp, you can see down here. But we just got a bunch of plants in. We have a ton of this substrate. And I wanna do a fun experiment and show you guys what I'm kinda of thinking and what we have going on. And uh, we'll see if this thing works. So stay tuned and we'll dive right into this video. So full disclosure, I don't know if this experiment's gonna work, but it's something that I wanted to try and something that I wanna have fun with. And again, this hobby is all about trying new things, doing it in a different way. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's dive right into this experiment and I'll tell you guys exactly what I'm thinking and hopefully tell you what I think the outcome's gonna be. And then we'll make another video maybe a month from now and I'll show you guys the progress on how this experiment works out and uh, just to see how, uh, how this all goes. So let's get right into it. So one thing cool that we do here is we try to grow as many plants as we can. And this is our backup slash nursery slash garden. We call it a bunch of different things. Mainly we refer to this as the garden. If we ever run out of plants in our normal system, uh, we can come here and restart our colonies or restart our plant grow outs. And so this is basically just the backup. And so to give you an example, um, this is AR, alternate Renicki. And uh, we just grow it in here. Very, you know, this is actually the variegated version, but very low tech setup. Um, just some miracle growth in there. We have these little domes that keep it. And then this is the regular AR, same thing. Um, you know, just nice and moist in there. This has been going for about four, five months at this point, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, so again, this is just in case we run out of our normal stuff and then we can kind of repropagate from here, restart our colony. And uh, that's kind of what I want to set up today, but I want to do it in a different way, try something new. And so uh, let's, let's dive right into it. So first things first, we're going to need these humidity domes. Um, these are from Bootstrap Farms, I believe is where we got them from. So I got a handful of those, they're all brand new, and we're gonna use those humidity domes. I actually have the trays too, so let me grab those. And I got the trays, I wanna say these are about two to three inches deep, so they're not like super deep, but they're not super shallow either. Now my thought is I'm gonna fill these out with Brightwell substrate most of the way, maybe half the way, a little over half, maybe two inches of the three inches. I'm gonna soak that in water, and then we're gonna plant some of the plants that we just got in and, uh, and see if they grow. And I'm thinking with the extra humidity in there, um, you know, we're gonna be able to somewhat convert these plants, keep them in a somewhat aquatic state, and, uh, and just see, you know, a little bit of an experiment, see how well they grow in this setup. And then again, we just have backup gardens in case we ever run out or we oversell or we wanna restart our own grow outs. Um, so yeah, just kind of a, a cool little experiment. And uh, I'm excited to see how this whole thing works out. So there's a couple things we're gonna need first. First thing is I wanna have scissors, um, just in case you know the plants are a little bit too big, I need to cut them down. Uh, we're gonna need our tray, obviously, which we've already talked about. And then we're gonna need some plants. So the first one I wanna do, and we're gonna start a few of these because I wanna try them with a bunch of different types of plants, is water sprite. So we have the Indian version, and uh, these guys are huge. I ordered them, literally, it says small, and these guys are probably 12 inches, so we're gonna have to get a little creative with how we're gonna plant these. Um, but I got a little container to go get some substrate, so I'm gonna go get some substrate right now, and then I'll dump it in here. Um, I got my little sprayer behind me, I'll show you that in a little bit, and how we're gonna fill this up with water. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just kinda try to make this work with these huge water sprites. Um, hopefully it does work, but these guys are literally way bigger than I expected them to be, so we'll probably trim them back a little bit. But let me go get some substrate, I'll fill this up, and then we'll, uh, we'll dive into it. It's gonna take a couple scoops. Now again, this is just Brightwell substrate that we use in our Caridina tanks. Um, it tends to lose its buffering capacity anywhere from like two to like five years. Um, so we always change them out of two years just because we don't want to have to be testing pH all the time. And so this still has really good um, nutrients in it because we don't use any plants really in our Caridina tanks. And so I think this will work really good for this experiment. Um, in the past we've used miracle Grow, but miracle Grow, what it does is it kind of starts the mold. It's not used to having you know a lot of saturation in it, a lot of humidity. 
And so we've had some issues with it. And so I really wanna try this stuff because this stuff is used to being underwater. It's not going to lose its texture. It's gonna be really easy to pull plants in and out of. And so I'm really interested to see how this works. So I'm gonna get one more scoop and then we should be good to go. All right, so three big scoops looks to be about enough. I wanna say we have about, let me see, about an inch of substrate, maybe a little bit more, and about a half of an inch um, still unexposed. So my thought is we're gonna fill this up completely with water to the top of the substrate, and then we're gonna plant as many plants as we can in here. I'm probably gonna trim these down a decent amount because literally like, I mean, that one's, that one's pretty good size. We can actually probably use that one. Um, and then literally I'm thinking we just dig a little hole, bury the roots in the hole, leave it up like that, and then put the dome on top. But this one's the smallest of all of them. Um, so while this won't work, I'm sure a lot of them won't work. And then those will literally just trim them back. Um, because a lot of them, like look at these ones, they actually have new, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but they have new leaves growing out of them. So they'll probably rebound pretty quick in this setup. So we like to actually spray our, um, our plants in our garden, which we just have like a little nozzle with some spray and you can see that just sprays it out. I'm gonna take that off because we actually wanna fill this whole thing up with water. So let me get this nice and full. This thing's gonna be heavy when it's all said and done. We will miss all the plants at the end just so there's good humidity to start. But I wanna fill this up until the whole thing is, you know, up to the top of the substrate is full with water. Again, just because I wanna see how this experiment goes and maybe other ones will do less water, we'll do more water. Um, but I have a bunch of different plants that we're gonna test. There we go. That's a nice small one, so that one will work great. Instead of trimming them back, I might be able to just leave them a little bit bent and see how they do. Yeah, that's a little bit too big. I wish they would've sent us shorter ones. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I hope you can see it on the camera. Literally what I'm doing, I'm literally poking a hole with my finger and then putting the roots down. And then again, I'm just gonna try to bend these as much as possible like that, just so that I don't have to cut them. Cause I don't wanna cut them unless I have to because the leaves will, um, you know, bring in the light and absorb, absorb nutrients for the plant. And like I said, I'll do an update on this probably in a couple weeks um, and just show you guys the process. If there's instant results, maybe I'll do an update sooner. Again, just get a nice little bend on that. The higher you keep the humidity on these plants, um, the easier they will convert to aquarium growth. And sometimes we've actually kept the humidity high enough that they just grow in their underwater state, which is really cool. And the biggest thing about this is you wanna enjoy this, right? You want this to be a process that is experimental and you have fun with it because that's why we're in this hobby, to have fun. There we go. I think that's pretty good. So. I'm gonna do a few more of this type, but all we do now is put the humidity dome on, which if I can even get the humidity dome. So this is the finished one. We got the humidity dome on it. You can obviously see some standing water. Now this might prove to be a little bit too much water because one thing we don't want growing in here is algae because we're gonna give it so much light. Um, so we don't want standing water. So this one might have just a tad too much in here, but we got all of the water sprite roots down into the substrate. They're kind of all Push to the center, the leaves are. I have no idea as far as what humidity these were kept in before. You never know how they're grown, and so they're gonna, this plant's gonna adjust to your environment, and then it'll be really interesting to see what these look like in a couple weeks, maybe even a week from now, we'll start seeing some results. So we'll have another video coming soon when this is all done, but let me finish setting these out with different scent plants, and I'll show you the final product. So we're nearing the end, I only have two types left. It's the Dwarf Red Parrot Feather, and then the Rotala Vietnam Hurrah, or here ra, <laughs> however you wanna say it. So I got these two left. I got uh, four, eight, 12, 12 already done. So I'm gonna end up with 14 total. Uh, I'll go through and show you them all when I'm all said and done, but I wanna give you an update kind of where I was at. It's taken me probably about an hour, maybe a little bit over to do all this, but we're doing good as far as the substrate goes. I still got a ton of 
And there's the box of the bootstrap farms. Um, we didn't use as much substrate as I thought we were gonna use, um, but you know, that just means we can set up more of these if it works. So I'm gonna save this substrate and uh, you know, we can do this again. So I just wrapped up, we got 14 of these guys total. I'll start over here where you guys first saw. This was the first uh, tote of water sprite that we set up. We ended up doing three of these. Well, I ended up doing three of these. And then we got some AR alternate Reniki, also known as Scarlet Temple. And then down here, we got Money Wart. We got Rotala Red, which is Rotala Indica. We got Ludwigia Super Red Mini. Uh, we got Ludwigia Dark Red, which we actually have another Garner that's going. So I'm excited to see how this does. Um, down here, we have Penny Wart. So two things of Penny Wart. Um, that's one of the big sellers for us. So I wanna see if it will propagate in here. And then we got Water Wisteria, which is also a really big seller for us. And then lastly, or I guess not lastly, we got two more up top. This is Rotala Green. So I'm excited to see how that works because it didn't do good in the last setup we had it in. And then this one, I believe, is the Vietnam. Yeah, it is. And then this guy is the Dwarf Red Parrot Feather. So again, I'm excited to see how this all goes, see how these guys do. Um, I might have to drain these down a little bit. You can see there's some standing water in there, but we'll test it out. And in a week, I'll probably do a little update, film that for you guys. Um, and then film an update every single week. And then about a month from now, I'll probably release a video on this. And just with all the updates, just showing you everything we got going on. But super exciting, and uh, I'm glad this worked out. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video of me doing a little experiment, setting up some aquatic plants to grow above water, which is a lot of fun, good experiment, something that I truly enjoy. If you guys didn't know this, this is actually how I originally got in the hobby was aquatic plants. So it's nice to dabble in something that I really enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this thing works. You guys make it a great rest of your week. As always, God bless. We'll see you on the flip side.